is up? This is Gate 36. I am back with a Kingdom Hearts video. And it's been like two months. Oops. It's been two months since I've played this at all. So, yeah. In about two months since I've played it. I got, last time I played it, I was just grinding a bit. Just to get a little stronger. And, um, yeah, I came here. Beast was down there, and he says that Belle and the others are still in the, and the other princesses are still in the castle. So, yeah, gonna go in and find them. Huh, that's weird. Gonna have to check my abilities again because. That's weird. I thought I had a certain, uh, I thought I had an ability that let me continue the combo. I don't know. Either way, I guess it doesn't matter. I got my Oath Keeper. And this is just kind of, this is just going to be getting back up to the castle. So, yeah. I just wanted to finish this game up because I just haven't wanted to play it for a while. I mean, I was getting really into it when I started. The, it was This is the first game playthrough I ever started. So, yeah. When I started it... When I started, I was all hyped up and excited. But now I'm pretty much, uh, but now I'm just kind of, I started playing other games and this one just kind of went on hiatus for the time being. And I really should have finished this a long time ago, like literally, it's my last, I just checked the update before I, last update for this game before I started this video. It was way back in, um, it was way back in October. October 7th so that's over two months ago and I just started doing Persona 3 FES and I started doing Dark Souls a couple weeks ago so yeah basically here's where and I just haven't started just haven't wanted to do this in a while but I'm doing it now I'm gonna finish this up Yeah, also, sweet. Oh yeah, that was the ability Combo Master that I was talking about at the beginning. Yeah, I guess I just got in here and died at one point. That's weird. I thought I remember coming up here and saving in the library, but 
guess I, I guess I didn't. But it doesn't, but again, this really doesn't matter too much. Oh yeah, I remember. I got up here, but I didn't save because I had already gone through the start of this without uh, without catching it on film. Yeah, I already got through this and didn't catch it on film, so I was like, you know, I'm, eh, for the sake of the walkthrough, I figured I was going to go back and just do it again. I mean, it wasn't hard. Just fight a couple of enemies and get the get the ability. All right. So now I have to seal this the keyhole that was released a couple videos ago. Yeah, this is Combo Master. After Combo. Alright. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna unequip the Sonic Blade. Yeah, I'm going to unequip Sonic Blade because the next boss, I'm going to mostly be doing aerial attacks. So I'm going to need that. And now... So now I can continue doing combos even if I miss them. Which is good for any battle, really. Because... I mean, it's good for any battle whether it's boss or not. So it really helps to have that on. Yeah, I missed that for so long the first time I went through this because it's just like, because after you're done talking to her, you're just like, okay, I'm going to go fight whatever's ahead of me. And then you just don't think about talking to her ever again because she's always down here in the library. And it's just like... And you just don't think about it. The Divine Rose is stronger. Is a stronger key than this. However, this enhances magic and summon power. And it has some decent strength. So it's not really bad. However, the Divine Rose... It de it's capable of dealing a string of critical hits. I mean, it says it right there at the bottom, but I can say from experience, this thing does a lot of damage quickly. It's kind of like during the beginning of the playthrough, the... the pumpkin head. Except the pumpkin head has a longer reach and less overall strength. This has a pretty short reach, but it deals a lot more critical hits. It's kind of a mixture of the... In fact, the Divine Rose is kind of a mixture between Pumpkin Head and Wishing Star. Except... The Wishing Star being a short reach. And the Pumpkin Head dealing a lot of critical attacks. But yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna equip that for now. I'm gonna go save again just because I almost forgot. And I mean, I almost forgot to go to Bell and get that and get the Divine Rose. So yeah, it's easy to forget about talking to her for it.
I'm back. I'm just cutting all that part out. There was a battle in the previous room. There was a battle out here with about half a dozen wyverns or so. About four to six of them. <laughs> yeah, also finally got my holiday eggnog for this year. Got from the local Weiss market. Oh, this I'm probably going to have to fight once or twice on this one. I'm just going to skip past this here, so... Yeah. Yeah, I had one battle halfway through, just like the last time. Yeah, I'm going to probably skip past all these battles. I mean, you already know the way up here is just retracing your steps. So, way back. Alright, I'm back. I pretty much just ran past most of those fights. If you're under level, this is a good place to level up. But other than that, it's not really that interesting. And here are the other princesses. Yeah, they're... Yeah, I forget if you get anything for talking to them. I don't think you really get anything. But, yeah. Yeah, so... Yep. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I finally beat one of those invisible enemies. The Stealth Soldier is what it's called. And it looks just like an ordinary soldier. But it's a slightly different color. And... Yeah, it's... You just, in case you read it in the background, I just wailed on it enough times and it came out. Once it just kind of... I wailed on it enough, it weakened and showed itself so yeah the trick is knowing when it's about to attack and just kind of guessing on that so yeah just thought i'd bring that up real quick Gonna use a cottage. Yeah, 
Ooh, dark matter, that's a synthesis material. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you something. This is something that I missed every time I... Every, every time I played the game before, until the last time when I got through and found all the Dalmatians, this one chest eluded me for so long until I eventually got annoyed and looked it up and found it. That one chest was always hidden. Because I assumed that it was just down in the waterway in one of the places that I hadn't been to yet. Yeah, and now I got probably one of the coolest Keyblades in the game. It has less attack. It's slightly weaker than the Divine Rose. However... However, it has good reach. And... Yeah, it has very good reach. That's the only reason why. I mostly like this because of its look. I mean, the pure black... The pure black keyblade. I really like it because of its design. It being pretty much the opposite of the Oath Keeper. Is, uh... And also, not just in appearance, but also in, uh... The bonuses it grants, like Oath, the Oath Keeper gives more to magic, the Oblivion more to overwhelming attack power. So it depends on your play style. But yeah, I got that, and I guarantee a lot of you will agree that it's probably one of the coolest Keyblades in the game. And now I have to go in here and fight the the boss. Yeah, this boss is kind of annoying, but it's pretty easy if you know like what if you know what it's gonna do. Also I love this the color scheme and design of it over the English version. Over the yeah, over the English version because because the gray fits it a lot more than a purple color. Yeah, it's pretty easy if you just stay on its back. However, as soon as it starts doing that, you might want to back up a bit. Yeah, it does. <sighs> Throw down a Mega Elixir. See, pretty, a pretty easy fight, nonetheless. There we go. A pretty easy boss fight. He's a bit more intimidating than he actually... He's a lot more intimidating than he actually is. I mean, he's pretty easy, but he just looks intimidating, and he can be difficult if you're sloppy, and you move, and you don't know how to get away from him.
um, something about this. When they said all of this, it's like, okay, so there was no way to get to other worlds, but there were ways to get to other worlds that only Keyblade Masters knew, but no one else seemed to know about them. I I don't really understand how that works. I don't really understand how it works. If someone sees this video and knows about the lanes between, I would greatly appreciate an explanation on that. Of course, if it's not much is known about the lanes between because they were only mentioned in the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. the power of fire. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, that pretty much concludes this part. Now, I'm going to do a whole bunch more grinding before I actually take on the uh, Ansem and that, because I also want to show off some of the, the hidden bosses. In a lot of the games, not many people seem to cover the hidden bosses. And I get why. I mean, sometimes... It can take a little while to do that, because sometimes to get to some of these hidden bosses, it takes a little effort. It takes a lot more than what you most people would be willing to put down. Yeah, this, co this thing's color scheme is a lot cooler in the international version. The color scheme for the original English version, the original... North American release was a purple the the black spot the black on the the behemoth would be a, a dark purple while the while the whitish gray colors would be a light would be a lighter purple and then the feet I think were just another dark purple so yeah this thing is definitely a lot cooler looking in this one so yeah I'm gonna Get off here, get this thing edited, and just be... And be done with this part. So yeah. This has been Skate36. Like, share, comment, subscribe. 
Later.